a solemn night after a state trooper is found shot to death in his squad car. That's my baby, my firstborn. A grieving mother and Callie now trying to figure out why. Our Charlie DeMar has been following the story all afternoon. He joins us now live with new details from the medical examiner's office. Good evening, Charlie. Good evening, guys. Trooper Gerald Mason's mother says all her son ever wanted to do was be an officer. He made that dream come true. Today, he died in the uniform. Illinois State Police making it very clear tonight that the public was never at risk and they aren't looking for anyone. My heart hurts so bad. <laughs> Linda Mason's heart will forever have a hole. Her son, Illinois State Police Trooper Gerald Mason, was found on the Dan Ryan near 43rd in his squad car with a single gunshot to the head. And they had some troopers go to the house, so I knew it wasn't good. I can't believe he's gone. That was the voice of a woman who identified herself as an off-duty officer. She was one of the first to arrive and used Trooper Mason's radio to call for help. Please don't tell him that it's It was an amazing District Chicago trooper. Tonight, Illinois State Police Director Brendan Kelly says there was never a threat to the public or law enforcement, but Kelly did not directly say who pulled the trigger. The daily grind, the daily wear and tear on their souls, it adds up. They're exposed to the most horrific parts of, of human nature. We do not have any information that gives us cause for concern that there is a, a threat to public safety. Trooper Mason died shortly after arriving to the hospital. A procession with Mason's body left from the University of Chicago Medical Center. Dozens of officers cleared the way. Once at the medical examiner's office, the 11-year veteran was saluted by officers wearing every shade of the uniform. I'm proud of my son. I've always been proud of him. I'm proud of all the choices that he made in his life. The director of the Illinois State Police said that he was encouraged by the number of people who saw what was going on on the Dan Ryan today. They pulled over, got out of their cars, and tried to help Trooper Mason. Mason was the oldest of four siblings. We are live tonight from the Cook County Medical Examiner's Office. Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News. Brad.